In the past, I've done videos about Octopus Go, Octopus Agile, and Octopus Go Faster, which brought you five hours of cheap electricity. Well, Octopus, yet again, not to be outdone by its competitors, now copying some of its inventive tariffs, have come out with a new tariff called Octopus Intelligent. And today we're going to be talking you through this tariff and how not only will it give you now six hours of cheap electricity, but some days it might even give you even more. Now, before I get into the nitty gritty of how this deal works, let's talk out some of the key basics that you'll need to have to be part of this deal. First of all, you're going to have to be an Octopus Energy customer. Now, if you're not already an Octopus Energy customer, you can use my link down below. You'll split 100 quid with me. That means you get 50 and I get 50. And that 50 will directly support my YouTube channel. It means I can do more research and videos just like this. You'll also need a SMET 2 meter or a SMET 1 meter, which is branded secure. They are the only meters that work with Octopus. If you have an old SMET 1 meter that's not secure branded, you will not be able to move on to this tariff until you've had a new SMET 2 meter fitted. And be aware that everyone who is on Octopus in wanting to switch to Go and Agile all wants SMET 2 meters. So depending on which area you are, it can be a postcode lottery of when you get it. I know some people who've got it literally a week after switching to Octopus and other people who've had to wait months. So if you are with your current supplier, see if you can get a SMET 2 meter fitted before you switch to Octopus. But if their queues are long, then bear in mind, so will Octopus's. The off-peak rate starts at 11.30 p.m. and ends at 5.30 p.m. At that rate, you'll get five pence per kilowatt hour for that electricity usage. The peak rate for where I am is 15.78, but there'll be a link down below in the description to go to my website to find a link to where you can find out what price you're paying your area. And it's also on the Octopus Intelligence linked to switch. The standing charge for this tariff is 25 pence per day. And as I mentioned before, there is some days where you'll get more hours of five pence electricity, which we're going to cover how that will work now. So you're going to need some other bits to make Octopus Intelligent work. And this is where the intelligent angle comes in and how you're gonna get more hours of five pence electricity. First of all, you're gonna need an iPhone, uh, not only because they're the best phones in the world, but because currently Apple is the only platform that they've developed an app to work on. There is an Android app coming, sorry Android users, just poking fun at you a little bit because Apple phones are better. Anyway, moving on to the next part, you're also going to need a compatible car, which currently is only Teslas, or, or you don't have to have a Tesla, or you'll need an OCPP compatible charger. And currently the only one on the list is the Warbox Pulsar Plus, and it have to make sure that that one that you've got is the OCPP version, and if it's got that, you will be able to take part no matter what car you've got in this new tariff. Now, if you don't currently have a Tesla and your charger isn't currently OCPP, then check that if you hand have your charger turned into OCPP and if Octopus will accept that and make it work on the trail. There is a couple of chargers that I've reviewed, by the way, I'm reviewing every single charger at the moment sold in the UK that are being sent to me. There are some companies that have refused to send them to me, but we won't mention that. But there is a review of all the chargers and some of them I have reviewed are OCPP compatible and I hopefully will be part of this trial very, very shortly. But if you currently have a Warbox Pulsar Plus that has OCPP or Tesla, then let's move on on how on earth you're going to get extra five pence per kilowatt hours out of your off peak rate. So the idea of this tariff is to help balance the grid. Now, during the off peak hours, you can do whatever you want. Dishwashers, law, you know, lawn mowers. If you want to lawn, you know, mow the lawn at sort of half eight at night, you're welcome. If you want to use any electric devices at that time, you will get the five p rate. But to charge your car, you're going to have to use the Warbox or the Tesla special app that they have for OCPP for this to work. And the reason for that is it's going to decide when your car charges. So you'll tell the Octopus app made for this how many miles or what percentage of charge that you will need for the next day. And then the app and the charger will make sure that they meet that rate. Now, basically, that might mean charging for two hours that night. 
it might mean charging for the whole four hours, but it's basically trying to hit the lowest carbon and effectively the lowest price wholesale rate they can in that given period. Now, some days that might actually be at 7 a.m. It could be at 6 p.m. when you come home from work because it was exceptionally windy and there was loads of energy on the on the grid for some unbeknown reason that very rarely happens but it did happen during lockdown once so the idea of this is if you plug the car in you've set how many miles you want if it's outside of your normal off-peak rate of five pence octopus will refund you on your bill the difference between the rate you paid your peak rate and the off-peak rate so it's a bit like a hybrid version of octopus agile however you won't always be charging during your off-peak rate some days it might, if you only need, say, two, three hours of charging, you're not going to charge straight away as soon as that off-peak rate ha hits. It might hold the charge until later on in the evening or turn it off and on and do a couple of off and ons in half an hour slots. And this is all about balancing the grid, getting the lowest CO2, and also helping Octopus achieve a better parallel in pricing for customers. So this will result in lower prices for you, better balance for the grid, and overall should result in lower CO2 for your house. So this, yes, could effectively mean that you're plugging in when you come home from work and your charger does not start because it's set on this OCPP thing to only charge during the off-peak hours or when it's cheap. But what if you came home, I'm hearing all these people going, what if I come home and even electric car non-owners, so these people who are, don't own electric cars who literally their whole fear of smart chargers and smart meters, is this going to happen? that you won't be able to take electricity when you want. Well, what if you want that electricity at the exact time when you come home at six o'clock because you're going out in another hour, two hours and you need as much charge as you need. There's an override button in the app, you press it and you'll just be charged the peak rate for whatever the peak rate was. And that is it. Now you could effectively end up with 10 hours of cheap electricity. You could end up with just the six. It really depends on each night. Basically, if you're not using the boost function, you will always charge at the lowest rate they can get you. And some days you will get the full six hours if you need the full charge. But the idea is to be a bit more responsible and say, I only need 50% charge tonight, I only need 60% tonight. And if you do that, it will help Octopus make the tariff stay at these prices for long periods of time. If everyone's fully charging the full six hours, the price and of off-peak and peak will rise for everybody, not just you. So let's try and all work together and get lower rates. Now I've looked at some figures online and I've worked out that if you switch from say Octopus Go into this new tariff and you drive approximately 15,000 miles a year, you will save around about £100 from go to this new tariff and that is including the extra hours that you're going to get between half eight and the extra basically six hours from there. So you're going to get more cheap electricity for the just general stuff that you're going to do. Maybe a wash on, maybe the dishwasher on, which is what I do, charging extra things, maybe even having a late night snack on a Saturday and putting the oven on. So with all these little bits, you should save an extra £100 on go. And if you're not already an Octopus customer, you can have an extra 50 quid just for joining up using my link, which is down below in the description and also at the bottom of the screen here. So what do you think? Do you think that this is the future of smart chargers? This is what I am really, really excited to see, the integration of chargers and apps and the way it all works. It is what's needed since agile prices have been going sky high. This is a new version of basically an agile but it's not an Agile, it's a hybrid of Go and Agile, so it should see the two benefits combined and should give people more stable prices as the wave of people have been leaving Agile recently. And I'm really excited to see if Octopus come up with any more inventive tariffs after this, and I'd really like to see who's gone on it and what your data changes. Now, I'm currently sticking with Octopus Go faster because I'm very lucky to have secured the rates between half eight for four hours at five pence per kilowatt hour and i've also got the lower peak rate hours because i switched before they put the peak rates up but i am more than likely going to be comparing my data than if i did switch this thing because i do have a wallbox charger which i was sent by wallbox to review so i do have the option 
of switching over to that charger and using OCPP. I've also got some other chargers that are capable of OCPP and soon I'll be talking about a charger that can do V1G, which is another hybrid of this, which is still using Go and Agile, but also separately paying you to turn off the charger because the peak demand might be different or the carbon demand might be different. What do you all think? Let me know down below in the comments. Are you switching? Please let me know. Thank you very, very much for watching this week's video and I'll see you again next week. Goodbye.